Hey, I'm Paul, and this is my animation attic. Lately, I've been taking trips to my local aquarium and sketching the amazing animals and habitats. I've also been looking into how their lives are changing due to increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. I'm turning it into a story. A lively story starring the marine life itself and the actions you can take to reduce CO2 output. I call this series Blue Impact. 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 <laughs> Paul, this stuff looks great. Oh, hey, Sam. You, you got jellyfish, whales, birds, coral. I mean, what are we, where are we going to start? Well, I think we should start with the blanket. The blanket? Yep. So I've got animals over here and solutions over here. I call this my blanket board. How did I get to the blanket? Well, I did some research on climate change and found that it's mostly due to the increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. It's like a heat-trapping blanket that's getting thicker. I was surprised to find that scientists have known about this for a while. Like, check out this old gem from the 1950s called Unchained Goddess. <laughs> Unchained Goddess? Yeah, well, it was the 50s. Due to our release through factories and automobiles every year of more than 6 billion tons of carbon dioxide, which helps air absorb heat from the sun, our atmosphere seems to be getting warmer. This is bad. Did they think it was bad back then? Well, they actually got the concept right. More CO2 will actually make the Earth warmer and cause the chemistry of our oceans to change. But they didn't have all the details that we have today. So what the film really inspired me to do was to take a closer look at how climate change is impacting ocean life today and what creative actions people are taking to put out less CO2. I see. And, and did the film also have a blanket? The blanket is my way of understanding climate change. And it's kind of like an action film. And like any good action movie, it starts with an explosion. Well, lots of tiny little explosions. The kind that happen in our everyday lives. Take the car, for instance. When we drive, our engines ignite, putting out exhaust, which contains CO2. So this CO2 floats up into the atmosphere and joins with other gases, making a sort of blanket around the world. I got it. Great. And the more CO2 we make, the thicker the blanket gets and the more energy gets trapped in our atmosphere. That's a bad blanket. Well, we actually need some blanket to keep us warm. But over the past 60 years, we've seen a 30% increase in the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere, mostly due to more humans and more activity. Even though CO2 makes up less than 1% of the atmosphere, its increase has had dramatic impact. For instance, in the polar regions, we are seeing feedback loops. You see, sunlight tends to reflect off of lighter surfaces and is absorbed by darker surfaces. So as ocean temperatures rise, polar ice caps melt and we end up with more light-absorbing ocean surface, which in turn makes ocean temperatures rise even more and the ice melt even more. Okay, I, I think I get the blanket, but how does it tie in to the animals? Well, it's a whole new ocean for marine life. As you can imagine, animal behavior is changing. From feeding, to migration, to reproduction. These Blue Impact videos will cover those changes. And here on my blanket board, I'm covering the action part. I'm finding a bunch of everyday people who are doing fun, simple, and community-based things to reduce their CO2 output. So you went back to the 50s for the evidence and you're getting the action from today. I think I understand. That's right. That's the blue impact we're talking about.